Hey guys, Mr. BXRP here and welcome back. Please hit the subscribe button before we get rolling if you haven't subscribed already. And today's going to be a little bit of a different video. Uh, I'm not going to go over any news, any numbers. I really just want to talk about the topic at hand. And the topic for me today is I believe, I firmly believe after being here nearly three years, that Ripple success is dependent upon XRP success. And it's not just Ripple. And I'm going to lay out my case, and I think I'm going to prove it for you, uh, to you, and we're going to do it very, very quickly. So I am on the Swift uh, website. And in, in case you don't know, and, and I actually, um, uh, Swift has got about 14,000 customers. I've heard their previous CEO um, once say that 80% that of their business was with 20% uh, of their customers, which is right around, right around 3,000 customers. So, so when you look at how many customers Ripple has to take from them to, to, to take a big chunk out of their business. It's not as much as you actually think. But what I wanted you to know is Swift doesn't make very much money. And I went through their um, financials and literally in 2018, I don't have their 19 numbers, but in 2018, they only made 34 million euros. That was their profit for the year. Okay, 34 million euros is not a lot of money and what what the point I want to make with that is this is Ripple has offices in San Francisco let me close this out here Ripple has offices in San Francisco New York Washington DC India Singapore London there may be others but those are the only ones I can think of and and was valued at over 10 billion dollars and recently got a 200 million dollar investment round and and obviously is preparing for IPO we don't know if it's going to be sooner or later we don't know when they're going to IPO but but my point is there is no way that Ripple is in this game to try and steal Swift's 34 million euros a year that is not the game here guys that is not what's going on here okay there is a bigger picture here Ripple's going after all the money, which has been controlled by Swift for over 40 years. But Ripple's going after all the money and, and for, for one reason, okay? They want to control the money transfers around the world, and their value is going to be in the XRP asset, and that's my opinion. Because they wouldn't be building the company they're building right now if it were for 34 million euros a year. I don't believe it. I don't buy it. There's no way that's what they're going after. Okay, and I don't know if you remember Stephen Thomas. Stephen Thomas um, used to be the CTO of Ripple. He's now the um, he's the founder and the CEO of Coil. He used to work for. He used to be the CTO of Ripple. Um, there is a video out there, and Jungle Link once posted it in one of his videos. I could not find the video standalone. I wish I could. I wanted to share it with you, but I couldn't. But Stephen Thomas is asked by a developer, you know, why would Ripple, why would the people at Ripple donate the ILP to the world to use as they want to use it, the Interledger protocol? Um, and essentially, Stephen Thomas's answer was that the more rails, the more people using the, the um, ILP, the more XRP would be used. And then he went on to say, and I quote him, our product ultimately is the currency, the bridge asset, right? Unquote. That was his quote. He said as a Ripple employee that their product was the bridge asset. He didn't say their product was RippleNet. He didn't say their product was, um, you know, a, a better messaging system. He said their product was the bridge asset, which to me is further proof that the value of the future value of Ripple as a company, the majority of that value is not going to be in RippleNet and, and the fees that Ripple gets paid for the work that they do. It's going to be in the value of their XRP, and that is my opinion. And, uh, and I wonder if you guys agree. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree? And, and as I like to do in all my videos, I like to leave you with... with uh, um, with something motivational or something funny, and we're going to go with something funny today. And, and these are the rules of tennis, guys, in this tennis tournament, and everyone should listen up. Every player, unless they're from the same, same household, has to bring their own tennis balls. 
so that you don't touch other people's tennis balls um, with your hands. You can kick their balls, but you can't touch them. I'm going to blush, sorry. Um, of course, if you're, if you're playing with someone in your household, you can touch those tennis balls. Uh, to, avoid <laughs> to avoid confusion between whose balls are whose, you can use a marker, like a Sharpie, to mark out to put an X or put someone's initials on them. Um, I would just say... And those are the rules, player. guys, in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> Those are the new rules of tennis. Okay, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not an accountant. I am not blind to what's happening, and I am not a crypto expert. These are my opinions only. Don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say. This video is intended for entertainment purposes only. Please like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please give me a sub and hit the notifications button if you'd like to be notified and share my videos with anybody who you think might appreciate them. And everyone have a great day.